is good everybody welcome to another my damn toys video today we're back with another two in one aew and rival collection review on the aew and rival collection series 10 dr Britt baker and taz figures i'm actually very excited for this review as we have our 80th Britt baker figure not really our 80th but it's a lot right we have the supreme collection coming soon we had the unmatched series one the unmatched series one chase you had the unrivaled figure here we have the supreme you guys know they love to pump Britt baker out in every figure form i can't wait for the supreme i think that's going to be her her stand out figure you know what i mean that's going to be the figure that knocks everybody's socks off but until we get there we do have our unrivaled 10 figure and then we have our first look at taz here not the taz that everybody wanted i don't think we're going to get into all those things but i'm excited for how the figure feels in hand i'm actually quite intrigued to see how it's going to be but on the front here you guys can see images of both talent down the side you have the gold foil standard aew packaging here on the side you have number 84 taz number 83 Britt baker on the back you get a great image of Britt and taz here no orange hat. I think the orange hat would have really set this off. With the logo on the hat, it would have been really sweet, I think, but rest of the figures in the wave. On this side, just the AEW logo. Gold foil across the top, as the AEW figures always are, but with those things being said, man, let's crack Dr. Britt Baker and Taz out of this packaging, find out how they compare to the rest of the set, get into some figure comparisons, and see what the hell they're all about. So here is Taz and Britt Baker out of their packaging. Liking what I'm seeing so far out of these two. You know, a little underwhelmed in some aspects, which we'll get into, of course. But we're going to break down everything, get into it. Let's break down Taz's accessories first and then Taz. Then we'll do the same thing for Britt Baker. We have seen Britt Baker in many iterations already. You guys know that the Supreme Collection is coming. But I was pretty impressed with this when we saw it at FanFest, I think, at Revolution for the first time. I was, I actually like this figure a lot. And I think it could be her best figure to date until we get the Supreme Collection. Let's, let's be honest with, with our ourselves here but i think it's pretty good you know we'll, we'll have to dive into it and see but let's dive into all the details find out what the hell these guys are about get into some comparisons and find out how this part of the set compares to the rest of unrivaled series 10 so gonna get into taz's accessories i mean you get a you get quite a bit but at the same time this figure is a tad boring i'll be honest with you i think that uh, i really enjoy the street gear which we'll get into but let's dive into the accessories first before we get into that let's start off with our head sculpts and in traditional jazz wears fashion we do get two interchangeable head sculpts i think it looks like taz you know i like the salt and pepper look going on i think it has the the likeness there it's a bit cartoony but i think at the end of the day it looks like taz especially you put those sunglasses on there which we can do now because these sunglasses are actually very very flimsy very flimsy sunglasses like they they hardly even hook on the head sculpt but they will fit it it's just uh they don't really hook on there so they're not on there good they could fall off at any moment you want to be careful with that but they're kind of flaily but it looks like taz and sunglasses so i mean that's really all you can ask for right when you get the sunglasses look but there's the first head sculpt i actually like that one a lot and you get the black sunglasses and then you have the screaming expression which i think i do prefer i think you do get that like pissed off look of taz i'm sure customizers are going to take this and make a taz you know a throwback taz ecw taz and stuff like that but i like this head sculpt i like the yelling expression jazz wears does a pretty good job on their yelling expressions i think wardlow jake hager lance archer kenny omega taz i mean they all have that yelling expression and they all look pretty good outside of maybe nick jackson but nice salt and pepper look i like it good bald shape head sculpt looks good wide head you get the point we also get our 356 AEW microphone in the line. We've seen this quite a few times, but there is that. You get your interchangeable hands. You do have the silver wedding band in there, right there, which does not go in the in the inside, as you guys can see. So it's like a half ring, I guess. But you got your interchangeable hands. Interchangeable hands there. And then the left hand actually has a mic grip hand. So you have the gripping mic hand, and then you have the regular grappling hand, which are very similar, but they are slightly different. And this does not have the ring. Ah, I think the ring is sculpted in there. It's just not painted. What about this one? Uh, this one's not even sculpted. Or maybe it is. It's just not painted. I can't tell. Anyways, let's get into the garbage. Plug it in, Matt Cardona style. You guys already know. Like, oh my god, that goddamn fucking old school Mattel stuck in that pose jacket. Gonna... Unless it's just sitting there on vanilla pose display, I would rather use any other jacket we've seen across the universe. You know what I mean? There's a lot of jackets you can use to, uh, to use instead of this, right? You got the Attitude Era Triple H. You got the Finn Balor. There's some on eBay. There's multiple options, but I'm sick of the rubber accessories, man. I'm just sick of it. Details are fine. Garbage articulation. So starting out at the top with the Taz figure, we looked at the head sculpt. I think it looks fine. I think the skin tone's fine. I think it looks like Taz, all those different things. I actually do like the sweater mold that we have as far as the sculpt and stuff. You know, we are going to get away from these pins hopefully one day, but I like the sweater.
sweater cuffs right here and I like the sleeves and the double jointed arms and everything like that. We will get into the articulation because I mean the figure feels good in hand. I, I'm not going to lie to you. It does feel good in hand but it's just a plain black sweater. Nothing crazy going on. Going down to the crotch you do have like I don't even know if like this, is this supposed to be a sweater tucked into some like sweatpants or joggers or what the deal is but it is this ugly brown color. Not a fan. I think that the chase looks better in the gray but that chase is pretty weak. Let's be honest with ourselves but love all the articulation. I like the sculpt of the pants. I just don't like the color that much. Going down I guess these are skinny jeans or skinny pants slash joggers because he does have you know the the tight cuffs down here and then he does have I guess is, is that copyright infringement? Is that Adidas? Is he is he wearing Adidas right here? He's got three stripes. Uh oh there. White out soles. Nice little shape to him. It kind of looks like a bigger man wearing sneakers you know that's kind of like what sneakers look like when bigger dudes wear them right because they kind of have wide feet and stuff and it kind of smushes them out there. But you got the shoelaces in there. I like the shoe mold. That's pretty dope. But that is the figure. As far as articulation he can look down decent. Pretty good amount. He can look up pretty decent as well. Good god. Look at that neck. Ab crunch is pretty much non-existent. I'll be honest with you. He can't really lean over too much but he does have a full waist rotation because you know he's got kind of a larger gut there. Arms go out by the sides. You get the full rotation. You do get the bicep swivel in there which is really good. Not a ton of like bend either so he's kind of limited on articulation but he can do the splits. You get the upper thigh cut. You do get the double jointed knee which is nice. You get the lower shin cut which I love. You do get a great ankle pivot and the ankles move up and down and like he can kick forward pretty good as well. Like the figure feels really good. AEW figures feel really good in hand depending on you know exactly which guy you get but these promo gears have been undefeated so far which is what I love about AEW figures. Now we're kind of behind given what happened last night on AEW Dynamite with Powerhouse Hobbs turning on Ricky Starks and then you had Hook winning the FTW Championship from Ricky Starks. But this is the pretty much original look of Team Taz right before Hook came along you had Taz Powerhouse Hobbs, Ricky Starks, Brian Cage. You guys get the point but uh, you know it kind of is weird because none of them match in gear but I don't know you know they, this is one of those factions that AEW brought together and they have a lot of star power here it's just you know it is what it is but uh, Taz is missing a hat man he really needed that FTW hat I think that really would have brought this group together whether it be in white or black or orange I, I feel like it is desperately missing a hat but you can display these guys all up next to each other so that's pretty cool surely you have a Mattel hat or some other hat in some other line that you could plug on Taz so for Britt Baker's accessories just like Taz I mean you get a decent amount you just don't get the microphone you get the championship instead and you don't get two interchangeable head sculpts which I don't think is the biggest deal because we have a few to interchange anyway with all of our figures but let's start off with this new version of the women's championship that's not even accurate anymore but it's pretty oversized at least it looks oversized to me I think that the plates just need to be a little bit thinner and just shrink by maybe like 15 percent or so kind of like the TNT titles I feel like all their championships maybe outside the AEW championship are too big but it's got some nice details going on with the AEW logo looks a bit weird in the middle here but you know the strap's pretty big it's got a nice it's it's got good material to it it's not like flimsy or anything like that you guys know that it does clasp in the back like classic championships and you got that mine's a bit warped hate to see that but you do get the championship and just to compare it to the figure for a second you guys can see just how big it is i mean it's pretty big it could be shrank by 10 15 percent i think it would look a lot better but i think she was wearing it like around her waist like this or around her whole torso like just look how it engulfs her like it just shouldn't look like that you know and that that's probably my biggest critique with the championship but it's still you know it's still there and uh i'm sure we'll get an updated version of the actual championship at a later date but you also get her jacket and again matt cardona making another nice appearance here oh my god that goddamn fucking old school fucking goddamn fucking jacket gonna... i cannot deal with these rubber accessories man like this is series 10 we saw we've seen this forever in series one we had the nice bucks jackets i thought we were going to be getting great stuff and now we don't have any cloth whatsoever even supreme we're not really seeing a lot of cloth we're seeing interchangeable rubber stuff or plastic stuff i'd like to see some soft goods man it really throw these figures over the top it really really would but you have your Britt baker logos i love all her logos i think they look really unique and cool and how you have the medics and the bb and the tooth very sweet i like the blood splatter and stuff it's just it's rubber man and i just it looks fine on display it's fine but it's also garbage so another thing to mention is that the red's way too bright it's supposed to be like a kind of a darker red but that's besides the point and then for interchangeable hands you do get your slapping or relaxed style hands is kind of what i say or i guess like hands on the hips a little kind of barbie doll-esque but you do have the nice red nail polish on there which works and then you have your pointing promo dmd hands i guess is what you call them the hands are a bit misshapen though like i tried to make this exact shape maybe it's just her hands that can do this exact shape but i tried to do it and it's actually kind of hard to do i don't know but i'm glad that we do include these pretty cool always down for some signature hands but that does it for Britt baker's accessories
So with Britt Baker, we're starting out at the head sculpt. A phenomenal head sculpt. I like this a lot. I think that it's not perfect. I think it could have like more details maybe, but it's it's definitely better than her other heads. Like it really is. I think it looks really, really good. Maybe if you painted one of the Blood and Guts ones, it would look better than, maybe then that would look better than this, but I still like it. I like the red makeup. I like the lipstick. Uh, I, I think that the, the red color on this figure is a bit too bright. I think it's supposed to be more of a pinkish red, like darker reddish color, but at the same time, I like it. Hair color could be different, you know. I, I think that if you actually painted some, like, depth of darker brown and then lighter brown at the bottom and kind of, like, brought out the highlights, I think it'd probably make the figure look a lot better because it bring out a lot of, like, depth in the figure, but I like everything going on here with the black and the red and, you know, the different blood drops and drips coming down the sides there. Good sculpt to it. You do have the tooth on the back there. One thing that blew me away was, uh, when you compare this, this is definitely a newer mold on the bottom half unless they just used an Anna J or something like that, but, uh, they cheeked up Britt Baker this time. They definitely cheeked up Britt Baker, like half of her cheeks are out, and I don't know if that's accurate or not, but it's there, and she's also not wearing stockings like she, she is on the back of the packaging right here. It'd be cooler if they could add some more of that glitter and glam going on, but you know, it, it's kind of difficult, especially at this price point, to add some of that in there. I don't know, maybe a customizer can go wild with that, but you got your knee sleeves there with the blood dripping down in the black. You got your solid black boots with your different molds going on, kind of a moon boots look to it, but you got the teeth on the sides with the BBs on there, which is interesting. Pretty similar mold to how her last figure, or last couple figures were, to be honest with you, but I like this figure a lot. I think this is the best Britt Baker we've seen to date, which is really awesome. We are, of course, going to get into our articulation, but this is a new mold. I think this whole thing is a new mold, maybe outside of the top torso, maybe, but I'm pretty sure this abdomen, like the definition that she has on her stomach is new as well, but she can look down pretty good, not up because of her hair mold, but her shoulders can go out above 90 degrees. She gets the full rotation, double jointed here and bicep rotation so that's all good there ab crunch is okay i guess you guys know how i feel about the women's figures i wish they'd get rid of that and make this one mold here so you get the same ab crunch as the men's figures but she does have full waist swivel there she is on ball joints so she's got a decent split thigh cut double jointed knee boot cut not a big fan of these ankles the ankle rockers there it's just not very good ankles move up and down though but uh yeah i like the figure a lot man this is uh my favorite unrivaled Britt baker i think i can say with with, for, with pretty good confidence there, but let's get into some Britt Baker figure comparisons. So for your Britt Baker figure comparisons, here's the new Unrivaled 10 in the middle. You have the Blood and Guts ringside exclusive, and then you have the Unmatched Series 1 over here with the extra Blood and Guts head sculpt over onto there. We also have a third interchangeable one, I think, that's smiling with the blood dripping down. And of course, we do have our Unmatched Series 1 chase in the Pittsburgh Steelers gear, and being a Steelers fan, I love that figure. I just don't have it loose, so that's unfortunate. Need to get another version of that, but what I want to do is see what this head sculpt looks like on both these figures because I think it's actually going to look pretty good but if you guys will notice like look how much better these formulas are like look at the the lack of detail over here and the looseness compared to this over here and how much better this looks like look at that right there bro that's insane in the difference that they have done here a lot more details a lot more yeah you know but taking this head sculpt off of here and then plopping not the uh, popping the new one on the unmatched series one that looks a hell of a lot better too and I guess you could pop this head sculpt over here just to see what this looks like as well. So yeah, I mean that could work. You could totally swing that. Now looking at the the Unmatched Series 1 head looks nothing like Britt Baker now that you, you know, that you cover it. But you guys will notice my ringside exclusive Blood and Guts does have leakage on the shoulder from the t-shirt. I'm not going to put the t-shirt back on there because it already has stained the figure to all hell. But putting the, uh, the new Unrivaled 10 onto this figure and that looks incredible. Especially with the makeup matching and you have the glove on there. That looks pretty sweet. That looks pretty John Brown sweet. One thing I want to try, let's see if we could put this stomach. Can you put this stomach onto, oh god, I don't want to break the figure, but uh, I wanted to see if this was possible. What if you could like unpop this and then put this here? So the stomach piece does fit, and I'm trying to see if I can like plop, okay, so there's that. Now if we can get this out of here and then plop the silver, look at that. So that's completely possible. You can make her more lean and give her a different stomach on her other figures skin tone matches and it gives her the leaner muscular stomach compared to the kind of like flatter one that you see right here so that's pretty cool man i just you just saw that on camera i just switched everything and made a completely new brit baker so now you gotta buy more brit bakers to fix up your other brit bakers unless you just want them stocked but this brit baker is pretty damn cool bro and then for one last figure comparison here's adam cole up next to 
the new Britt Baker just to see what it looks like. Now I need an Adam Cole in red gear. You know what I mean? Uh, we never got the War Games. Wasn't that what that was when they were in the all red? I think that was War Games. But yeah, pretty cool to see it, the elite Adam Cole up next to this one. And you guys know that in Unrivaled Series 11, we're getting our first Adam Cole in AEW. So that's kind of unbelievable. And we'll have to do this comparison again when we get that figure in hand and when we get the Supreme Edition Britt Baker. But that pretty much wraps up our two in one AEW Unrivaled Series 10 Britt Baker and Taz Review. I actually like these figures both a lot. I think this is my favorite Britt Baker we've seen. I like the Blood and Guts gear, but I think that this gear slight. I don't. I don't know. The gears. The gears pretty even. I mean, to be honest with you, you kind of like the NWO Wolfpack kind of deal it's got going on. I kind of like the blood dripping kind of look to it. I like the head sculpt a lot. This is definitely the best Britt Baker head sculpt we've seen so far. I know a lot of people aren't really caring for it, but I think it's damn good. I think it's really good. I like that. I just think it gets better and better. So I think you know her Supreme's probably going to be a step above this, right? It makes the most sense. I could absolutely see that, but at the end of the day, the Taz figure is a bit boring and stale. I think it would have been cool to see him in a luminary style where it's a throwback. Even if they can't do that, I just feel like it's pretty plain Jane. Not a big fan of the brown pants look. I do like guys in street gear, and I think the figure feels cool, and I still like it. You know, it's just, uh, it's kind of a plain Jane boring figure, but at the same time, I still like the figure. I still do like the figure. I like the head sculpts. I think they're really strong. I, I hope that his next figure is even better than this. I hate that we didn't get a hat accessory, and you guys know that the leather jacket's just garbage, right? I mean, we can't. In both jackets in the rubber, I just I just want to throw them out in the yard, but I don't know. I know a lot of people are going to watch this review, so I do appreciate you guys stopping by and checking out the review. If you guys will, leave me your thoughts on these figures down in the comment section below, but let's get into our random shout-out before we get out of here. And this shout-out's going to go to Beastie Boy Gaming, who says, hey, my birthday is tomorrow. It would mean the world to me if you showed me showed me your video, which I guess he meant, you know, shout me out in your next video. So a huge shout-out to Beastie Boy Gaming. Went to go check for a random shout-out, and it was right there. So, I mean, uh, you know, I, I don't really know what to say. It was right there. So, huge shout-out to Beastie Boy. Hope that he enjoys his birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday or happy early birthday to you. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. Leave me your thoughts down below. Have a blessed day, and I'll see you guys in the next one. And don't cross the line like the Taz figure in the brown pants. Come on. You cross the line.